Hi there, this is my Android head unit and let's open up the Android Play Store or Google Play Store. So over here, let's start car launcher. I mean, let's search for car launcher and I have actually done quite a bit of uh, reviews on most of the car launchers. You can see here that this is Automate and click on it and let's try installing it. It's a car dashboard, it's used for driving and navigation. Well, let me just see more about it while downloading. Yeah, um, reply to WhatsApp and messengers, alert upcoming traffic cameras. Well, this is like a waste to me. Oh, you can also uh, link to OBD too, you know, it's more like a small device so that you can see what's happening to your car and you can integrate to a lot of uh, media players looks pretty good yeah and it's about to finish 77 now it's installing now and let's open it automate and welcome to automate to transform device into a smart car dashboard Okay, make it easier and safer and use familiar service while you're on the road. Okay, and drive safely. Da -da -da -da. Yes, I agree. Set notification access, enable, and you will need to find, yeah, automate. Enable it, allow, and go back, and done. Next, that's it. You're ready to go, and let's hit the road press OK, I mean the tick there, that this is how it looks like, but um, okay, let's see what does it do, yeah, um, let's go through the screen, so there is menu here, where you can click on, and you can see that you can go to dashboard, you can look at the premium features, you can have settings, well, I don't know why you want to do rating here, Okay, dashboard means it's oh okay, this is the one. This is dashboard. So oh okay. Let me just do that again. You can swipe here to see the speed, the altitude, acceleration, acceleration. Oh there's a few. Acceleration G, X and Y and Z. I think this you need to uh, connect to the O2 yeah, that small device uh, to link to the computer, uh, car's computer. And right now I don't have that. So, done with dashboard. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done with dashboard. This is what? Device. This is Talk. Application not installed. You have to download Talk Pro. So, it's different. Uh, it's actually integrated integrate with another app called Talk Pro and Winly is also another app called Winly okay let's not go to that and this is what get my Winly okay doesn't matter let's I'm not going to go through all the third party apps that links to this and premium features nothing oh let's open again I think it's I think it's stuck there just now for a while. I need to restart the whole app. Okay, um, I'm still going through all this again. Let's go to the premium features. And what can you see here? Traffic cameras. Oh, now I can do this. Startup options. What is this? And I also set as launcher. So it, in order to def set it as a default launcher, I need to pay $499. Okay, does it matter? I'm not going to pay for it yet. Uh, let me just play around with it, see whether it's worth the money. Traffic cameras. Oh, okay. Traffic cameras. You need to pay another eight forty nine. Key gestures control another eight four forty nine. Startup options another. Okay, it's quite a lot of money there. Doesn't matter, since it's premium features means I don't, I can live without, without them. Yeah, and settings. So you can have your behaviors, you can disable the lock screen, keep the screen on, 
full screen mode I would like to have full screen mode and keep the screen on the loud display okay no problem so I just go back from here and when you are charging it's always charging double tap to open the menu okay uh, maybe with that so this is all premium I think we saw that just now so team and layout what can I do so to set the teams these are only available for the premiums so looks like I can't really change it right can I oh I can so it can have classic light or just classic classic dark or midnight black I will just see how how's the differences later on um, auto navigation options so you can change the color as well to something different but uh, how do I do this okay I think it's only for the premium yeah and I think it's stuck again and okay and it restarted again I think this is the second time it restarted so it looks like it's not a very polished app at all but doesn't matter uh, I will continue on the settings team and layout yeah let's not try to change that again I think I just finish everything right yeah I think I'm to here water navigation color okay I think I'm stuck here let's go back I can't I'm stuck I'm stuck let's just close this and open the game okay let's go back to the settings and I'm done with the team and layout let's start and exit what is this launch on Bluetooth connection launch on Wi-Fi connection launch and charger connection well this is how you can set launch on headphone connection depending on what you do you can launch it automatically yeah and automatic exit means if you don't have Wi-Fi we just exit if you don't have Bluetooth connection it would just exit yeah something like that on start and these are all the premium options which I don't get unless you pay and this is what this is maps I can set my home address my work address and default navigation app let's try and set a home address let's try let's type in something does it work no I just can type a name or does it matter I think it's just a name yeah and default default navigation app is automate means its own map yeah automate have its own map or you can also change it to Waze and Google Map I, I, I like Waze yeah it's always my first option okay and these are the traffic cameras where you only show you in the premium the, the thing is in Waze itself it will show you the cameras it's funny yeah I don't know how it works uh, maybe they just block it until you pay them then they will show you look the tra traffic cameras and GPS options roads avoid highway avoid tolls yeah it's a standard for ways as well I think these are all meant for the uh, what do you call this automate uh, I think we, everyone is familiar with ways so let's go back and check out the automate maps here let's set it as automate and phone you can set your voicemail number please call automatically well okay silence audio during calls these are some of the options that you can do uh, home disable con notifications okay calendars you can hide your calendars enable your calendars and your weathers you can change the metrics 
to Fahrenheit to Celsius and weather provider you can change from open weather map or Yahoo weather okay at least you get an options to change yeah so next would be media you can choose your default media player now it's jokes of course you can change to others such as power m or spotify as well yeah let's let's choose power m um, return after media selection okay uh, pause music during audio alerts um yeah 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 this is good so that it doesn't play the music at the background when there's an alert coming up play music on start okay stop music on exit and so on and so forth but how do you want to control your music so music tap song to launch player okay i think it's too many options that you're giving to customers right here speedometer you can enable it and show you the street name and you can change the speed metrics as well mine is correct km per hour and you can enable the speed limits why is why is, how do you how do you have the speed limits you know you, you can go up to 200 here and you can put the speed limit 200 here you still won't stop you from moving up to 200 yeah maybe you just give you an alert voice what is this voice options text to speech interesting um background audio modes google voice search ah this is good swipe up for voice input okay actually it's pretty comprehensive yeah what you can do message notify new message red message automatically yeah i i presume this is for sms it never says anything about whatsapp or something like that but this is good yeah notify of new message but i don't want them to read automatically and support mm, oh there's a tutorial and you can back up your settings to google drive ah this is good so everything can be set safe into google drive you can also restart it i mean restore it from google drive interesting that's good and it's not a premium settings yeah it's for everyone Just, uh, feedback support okay not bad okay let's go through the main screen here this is of course obviously showing you how your speedometer when you click on it you ask me to get winly yeah it's a third party app uh, i'm not going to get it now let's go back and street name is unavailable hmm. maybe this automate map just don't have my it's not it's not everywhere yeah maybe i will change the map later Welcome to Automate. Tap to build tutorial. Okay, companion for the road. Next, overview. It tells me what is it. Oh, this is all the calendars. Okay, recent search and also the weathers. Next, and I can have the maps with all kind of information of live traffic data. Okay. And I can also control my music and this is what communication yeah you can it works with hangouts whatsapp telegram yeah and sms of course shortcuts for calendar emails and apps and voice voice search as well interesting so right now I can see my calendar here and see my what do you call this the weather here and that's about it yeah when i click on this nothing happens and when i click on this this is the map i presume but it's not showing anything let's just exit this oh I exit the whole thing okay let's start again 
So alright, uh, this is obviously the call. I can call using this, but I think I need to connect to yeah the Bluetooth before I can do this. Yep. Oh, okay. Can dial here. Back, and this is yeah. This is the home button. This is of course the power M. It's the link to your media player. I think it's now linking to it. Yep. Mm, I'm not buying this. Power M. Does it work? Next. Yeah, I think it doesn't work. My trial is expired, so it can't work. What is this? Exit automate? Nope. Oh, okay. So this is already, yeah, linked to the power amp. And this is shortcuts. Volume up and down. It doesn't work. Yeah, most of my car launches, volume buttons doesn't work. Yep. Okay, you have exit here. Oh, okay. Let's open back. Okay, I think it's pretty straightforward and there's nothing much you can do about it um, you just you just keep showing your information here and how do I have more shortcuts so I can press X X X what is this oh I can't okay I remove all of them and how do I put in a new shortcuts I have no idea Okay, I might need to do it here in the settings. Uh, sh shortcuts? Nope. Mm, okay, never mind. I think if I were to buy this, I will go through it slowly. Ah, here you go. My maps is here. This is the automate map, yeah? Mm, looks okay, yeah, but if you compare to Waze, I think Waze is still much better. Let me just try and change the map. Oh, this is not still in the map mode, yeah. Let me just try and change it. And navigation app change to waste. Go back, go back again. Let's see, I come here to the map. Mm, it still looks the same. Maybe it's using data from Google Map. I mean, from waste, but it looks the same to me. Okay, so um, how do you do? How do you say this? Okay, overall, I feel that this is not a very intuitive app. Uh, although it's pretty complete, what it can what it can do, but things are separated in all speed, all places. Yeah, and. This is the home 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 screen, and the home screen looks, you know, pretty crowded with all the messages here. I mean, uh, it's like notifications, yeah. But wh why would I want to see the weather, and also what's coming up on our events? I want to see how. I want to have shortcuts to my favorite apps. It doesn't have that, uh, and when you come click here, it just show you the map. And it's a default map. Whether you change it, whether you change it to uh, Waze or Google Map, it still looks like this. It's just getting data from different apps. Yeah. Um, yeah. Integration is pretty good. Yeah, on the music. Just that I can't use it. Mine is expired. So that's it. It's pretty basic, but things are everywhere I, I want to have everything in one screen uh, meaning that I can have different buttons for me to open uh, apps that I like and maybe a screen here where I can see the map or maybe a small screen here where I can control the music yeah that would be better option but rather than having to click all over the place so that's it this is automate and uh, this is a very simple review of this uh, 
so called launcher. I'm everything is called launcher. So thanks if you like this video, you know, give me a thumbs up. And if you think uh, you want to see more of this, please do subscribe to my channel, and it's free. This will help me a lot, and I will continue to do more of this kind of videos. Thanks. Bye.